I'm Tyler Job, your Green Bay Neighborhood Reporter here at the St. Brendan's Inn in downtown Green Bay. It's a hotel, restaurant, and bar, and a place that has lots of ghost stories. Let's head on inside. It's just something that is just normal around here. Aaron Riggle is a bartender at St. Brendan's Inn. I close the bar three nights a week here. Um, so I often see a person peek through a little, the little kitchen porthole. Riggle has worked at the business for eight years. Eight years worth of paranormal activity to share, like the time she thought she saw her co-worker walk through the back of the dining room area. And then it turned out that while I was in the server station, she was actually in the server station with me. So whatever I saw was not her. The building is not old, but the land it's on is old. General Manager Kelsey Baston says St. Brendan's Inn was built in 2004, and yet she says she gets lots of ghost stories from new guests, regulars, and her staff. Supposedly we are built on some spiritual land. Baston says she's been told stories of showers turning on and off in the middle of the night, shadows in the building, and spirits talking on the third floor. We've had a regular as well. He always stayed in room 314 and he had a very vivid dream of a Victorian dressed woman putting a cold washcloth on his head while he was resting and when he woke up in the morning there was a wet washcloth in bed with him. And then there's Jerry who did night cleaning work at the hotel for a long time. He passed away a couple years ago. Baston says Jerry was very picky with how the bar and dining room looked. We notice things like if a chair is crooked like this and if the dining room is empty, you'll just notice a chair just straighten out on its own. Then we just always say, hey, Jerry. Baston says she believes these supernatural stories are legit because she hears the same things from multiple people. It just kind of all adds up. And despite all of these recounts, Baston says the ghosts aren't scary, but rather friendly. They're not trying to get us out. They're not trying to scare us away. Baston says there hasn't been anything aggressive that's happened inside these walls, like glasses breaking or door slamming. She says they're spirits that just rather want to share a space with you. At the St. Brendan's Inn, Tyler Job, NBC 26.